Then they tell the kids, we've got evidence for evolution from homologous structures. Wow, what's that mean? Yes, boys and girls. Did you know you have two bones in your wrist and they're called the radius and the ulna? Pretty cool. And did you know the alligator has two bones in his forelimb? And look at this, they're called radius and ulna. See that? That proves we are related. That's what they're going to tell them. Homologous structures provide evidence that these animals evolved from a common ancestor. It's found in just about every textbook. You got it in these other ones up here, I'm sure, don't you, Steve? Homologous structures as evidence for evolution. They descended from a common ancestor, textbook says. Think critically. The bones are the same, boys and girls. See, that proves we're related. Evolved from a forelimb of a common ancestor. This textbook says, <clears throat> comparative anatomy provides further evidence of evolution. The commonality suggests that these and other vertebrate animals are all related. They probably evolved from a common ancestor. This is a lie. They probably have a common designer. Mm -hmm. You know, the different bones in different animals come from different genes on the chromosomes. They're not homologous to begin with, okay? And even if they were, that still wouldn't prove common ancestor. It proves a common designer. The same designer made them all. Did you know the lug nuts from a Pontiac will fit on a Chevy? You can go out in the parking lot and try it. They will. That proves they both evolved from Honda 14 million years ago. <laughs> no, it's true many animals have a similar forelimb structure. That's a good observation. I agree. They say they must have had a common ancestor. Oh, bad conclusion. Then they'll say, this helps prove we all came from a rock. Well, now you really have got a bad...